Hello, and welcome to Comics That Suck, a program that will document how comics and comic-related media totally suck right now, and how it sucks to be a comic fan at this day and age. We will cover all sorts of comic-related media, including comic books, graphic novels, comic-related movies, and comic-based animated series. Today we're going to talk about Transformers, which is going to be coming out on July 4th. Is the movie going to suck or is it going to rock? It will rock. You want to know why? Not only because they have Peter Cullen as the original Optimus Prime back in action, and that they have two big Transformers fans writing the movie, and they also have the greatest CGI I've ever seen. No, it's not going to be anything about that. It's going to be because the Coattail series is going to suck. What is a Coattail series, if I'd ask? Coattail series is a cartoon that Coattails a very popular movie franchise. I.e., when uh, X Men the movie came out, they had X Men Evolution. Coattailed it. Uh, Batman the Animated Series. Coattailed Batman Returns. Now these are both these are both examples where you know mediocre movie, well mediocre in the eyes of a critic follow up with an extremely outstanding animated series. Well, there's also been examples as of late where a really, really, really awesome movie is coattailed by a really horrible animated series. Uh, for example, Batman Begins, coattailed by The Crap Man. And you will notice that I would never call that show The Batman because the char main character is nothing like Batman. You know, it's just he vaguely resembles what Batman's supposed to be, so I always call that show the Crap Man. And I didn't even come up with that term. That was that was a term came up, came up by a guy on a message board called Stretch Dude, so I can't claim any ownership to that whatsoever. Now, when we look at who is starring in this new Transformers program, Transformers Animated, the Cooktail series, we're looking at. Uh, well, first off, we're looking at Sam Register as executive producer, and that's just a bad sign. Anyone who's a Batman fan would remember Sam Register. He, he's the helmsman, the executive producer for The Crap Man. And if you remember, before The Crap Man came out, Sam Register, he gave an interview. He gave a very famous interview where he said, where he said that uh, anyone that complained about his new series and compares it to the old series, the old Bruce Tim Aldini Batman the Animated Series. Anyone who made the comparison and notices that his new series sucks are 28-year-old men living in their mother's basement. Well, gee, Batman has a huge fan following based on not only the Bruce Tim series, but on comics and all sorts of various media alone, you know? He alienated a huge fan base by saying that, but, you know, at least he still got all the kiddies watching, you know, based on the fact that this crappy series ran four seasons. But Transformers is different. Transformers, the lifeblood of the Transformers franchise is appealing to the Gen, Gen 1, 1980s Peter Cullen fans, you know? The, the ones that want to see Optimus Prime as a Peterbilt, you know? But, you know, knowing Sam Register, Sam Register would probably say something stupid like, the people who complain about Transformers Animated are the type of fanboys that masturbate to uh, Optimus Prime's G1 uh, form, you know? The, those, that's the kind of guy Sam Register is. He still hasn't learned tact or respect or anything like that. He's going to alienate the fan base, I just know it, by trying to do something new and hip, you know, just like he, he did with Teen Titans. Oh, God, that series sucked. That's just that's just the kind of guy Sam Register is. Who else do we have on this series? We also have as a supervising director Mac Youngberg, who worked on uh, the Sam Register before with the uh, Teen Titans and the Crap Man. You know, as the animation director. You know, that is just a bad decision because both series lack any sort of cinematic direction, any sort of feel. A good example of this is uh, one episode of The Crap Man that I accidentally saw of its latest season that was supposed to be like The Dark Knight Returns, but it really wasn't, except for the fact that they made Batman a middle-aged guy that was big and hulking, but other than that, it was nothing like it. I remember this because there was one really, really bad scene where Nightwing dies off-camera. He's frozen, and, and he just sort of like ate a little squeal, and he's like, 
Batman's even go, Dick, no, or Nightwing, no, or Robin, no. He doesn't do anything like that. He just like, he doesn't even look at it. He just they just pan over to show that he's frozen. You know, he he died a meaningless death. He just sort of showed up just to suck and die, and he didn't even give his death any emotional impact. That is a bad animation director right there. And also bad writers, bad storyboarders, bad everything. But we're talking about the crap man here. It's just bad. Who else do we have? Oh my goodness, this is going to make it even worse. We have Beast Machine's head writer, Mark, Marty Eisenberg. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's like they're picking the worst people ever to make this series, and they're going to make it. The uh, character designer is going to be Derek Wyatt from, again, the Teen Titans and... Legion of Superheroes is another craptacular series, you know, it's just his characters, it's sort of like, you know, they took the bases that Bruce Timm built, which was based off the works of Wally Wood and Jack Kirby and all other legends of the comic book world and just sort of disregarded any sort of form substance to it just to uh, mix in the big-eyed, small mouth style just because, you know, anime is popular. Let's, let's move on. Derek Wyatt. Let's talk about him some more. Sorry about that. He says he's creating a brand new look on it like anything seen in Transformers before. Unlike anything seen in Transformers before. Does that sound like a good thing to you? Does it? Doesn't to me. Oh my goodness, you know. Let's also talk about the voice actor. David K is going to be Optimus Prime. David K. The guy who voiced Beast Wars Megatron. Oh my lord, what are they thinking? Not only that, Optimus Prime in the series is going to be the youngest Autobot in the brand new, brash, inexperienced leader. Dudes, this is worse than raw Hot Rod ever was. Worse than Hot Rod ever was. This is like giving Wheelie the Autobox, the Autobot. Matrix. My God. It's just going to be horrible. It's like they took the worst elements out of any sort of Transformers franchise ever and slapped them together to make this cash cow coattails of a series that's going to suck so much. What's this theme? The movie is absolutely going to rock. Because when a coattail series is going to suck this much, you know that the suck rock ratio somewhere has to be balanced out. So yes, Transformers the movie, go see it, go see it multiple times, maybe they'll make a sequel, maybe they'll make an actual good spin-off cartoon series and cancel this piece of crap, maybe they'll get a real good mechanical designer to make the Transformers instead of hire somebody who only does big-eyed small-mouth crap, you know, maybe they'll make a good series, maybe they'll hire some of the old writers from G1 back, It'll, maybe they'll, I don't know, come to their senses and Finally, fire Sam Register's crummy ass. Come on. 